everybody, Jeff here again. Well, I was looking at my YouTube account and I saw I had a little message from a guy who's not a very not a very bright guy or girl or whatever their gender is, maybe, or they may be identifying themselves that, but they got all mad at me because I agreed with Miss Misanthropus about the Hannibal TV series. And they, they were going on in a long tirade, a very in, unintelligent tirade, if you, uh, I might add, too, where Hannibal was so supposedly this great show. No, it wasn't. I hate to tell you this. No, it isn't. Probably one of the worst shows, ever, adaptations of Thomas Harris's Hannibal Lecter series. They were the best ones were the first, first few films that came out. And the original movie Manhunter were pretty good, but... And Silence of the Lambs and the original Hannibal movie with the ones with Anthony Hopkins and I forget that other guy's name, the other two guys that played him other than Mads Mickelson. And Miss Misanthropus was right. Mads Mickelson's really great talent was wasted on that show. He's a great actor, an incredibly great actor. If you ever saw Casino Royale, I mean, he's a great actor. But the point is... The producer of that show, Brian Fuller, is an incredibly terrible producer and terrible writer. And then, then they, and he's he just caves. He's just a guy who caves into the SJWs and the third wave gender feminists. And I mean, if you, the pro problem with Han the TV show Hannibal was it showed this. I mean, if he wanted to create a character. Why didn't he create a similar character with similar traits and have his own original TV series? That that is that is innovative. That is true innovation there. Not going up and, and rebooting the character and making him into to suit your own agenda. It's the problem we have a lot of a lot of problems we have with movies today, movies and TV shows today when they reboot them. I mean, they totally ruined 21 Jump Street. In, incredibly ruined it with with Noah Noah whatever that guy that fat guy's name is and Channing Tatum they, they it was it was incredibly horrible Jonah Hill that that's the idiot's name I cannot stand Jonah Hill you know but he but the thing is they they incredibly ruined the the movie if you ever watched the TV show. TV show 21 Jump Street was a serious TV show about it was a serious police procedural whereas they went and took it and completely ruined it just the same as they did with Starsky and Hutch with Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson I cannot stand Owen I can I can tolerate Ben Stiller but I cannot stand Owen Wilson you know that that should have never been converted into a comedy it should have been kept a police procedural if the show was a police Procedural, and you make a movie. Make the movie a police procedural too. Don't don't go and and, and reboot it as a comedy and call it call it a remake. A remake. A re difference between a reboot and a remake. A remake is a remake is where they do something and they try to follow along in the canon of the the canon and the genre of which the original series was made. But a reboot is when they take it and. They rehash it and re revamp it and make it where it's not the same thing. But I, I mean, and this is the problem with our with it's a problem in society because it shows unoriginality. You take a character, it's like like say uh, twenty years from now, I went and did made a reboot of Zootopia. Would never do that if I was a producer, by the way. Never ever would do that. Because I respect the creators of Zootopia, the guys who created the movie Zootopia, much better than some of these people. Like, well, I respect. No, they don't respect it. They respected the original creation of a series, a series or a movie. They would keep it in canon. They would keep it the same genre. The only exception to this was the movie Dragnet, the one with the movie Dragnet with Tom Hanks and, and Dan Aykroyd. It it was good for. For the matter, because they they it was it was not the actual Joe Friday, but it was Joe the original Joe Friday's the original Joe Friday's relative. It was like Joe Friday Jr. or something like that. I forget. 
It was his dad, and somehow along the line, Joe Friday got married and had the son played by Dan Aykroyd, who chose to go into the same line of work as his dad. But the, the thing is that when you do, if you're going to do a remake or a reboot, try to follow in canon and try to try to make it. And if you want to go to comedy, I mean, make make give it a, a give it a goofy title like like the movie Took and terrible movie, but I mean, but it was a spoof of Taken, but the and it was a terrible movie. But I mean, at least let people know that it's it's a spoof of the original movie. And not give change the name of the characters too. Okay, take care. Bye.